Chris Chancellor at Stay at Home Gaming. Probably gonna be a short video today, probably just a couple more cutscenes and whatnot. Uh, we'll really hit it this week though. I'm also might be looking into Mixer for some streaming. Let me know what you guys think about that. Definitely wouldn't have as many cutscene videos if I was just You've streaming, done well, that's lad. for sure. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. I I heard about you. Hey, watch it. I My love God. that people constantly running into you and being like, "Hey, I'm watch sure it." Is what? Sir Divish has suffered his own share of woes, but he's a generous man and a good one. We'll take care of you until everything blows over. I want some you risk your life like to warn dude. us, and we won't forget it. Thanks, bro. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Tomberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear, aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> Ooh, my lady. When you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. M'lady. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. God, the dude has some sick armor. Let me get that plate now. Now I would eat some of this, but I would also sell quite a bit, because you're gonna make a little good little bit of coin off of this, that's for sure. Oh, must. Yeah, yeah, you drama. There you go. Shut up. Alright, what else? So oh, right the wine. Right out of the pot. Mmm, yummy. Delicioso. Go to the little lodge. Hopefully, this auto saves for me. Fingers crossed. My nourishment's gonna be way down. Whoa, ho, ho. What's going on here? Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood. Yes, sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Everybody call me boy. My lady. Uh, um. No, no, not at all. 
But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. Pretty sure her husband's the old guy. I came guy. to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. Seriously, though. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. Thank you, my lady. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. A fellow by the name of Kunesh owed money to Father, who sent me to collect it from him. Only Kunesh had no intention of paying. It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved, but Kunish still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. oh my when I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzid. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzig himself came to have a look at it. He praised Father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armour glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. Maybe don't mention another girl. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw Father and charged at him. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw Father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. Did it just say the same sentence twice? Mother, and he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. <laughs> May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuman savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. 
It will haunt me for the rest of my life. I imagine it would. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? Because people are evil. God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. Stuff was rough oh. back then. <laughs> I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. That would years, suck. Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The best years are still ahead of you. Get it. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'm you glad you said it. And let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. My Good lady. Night, my lady. For sure looks like he's laying on that bed backwards. But what do I know?
Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scallops. Come on, auto save. Alright, thanks for hanging out, guys. Sorry it's been a lot of cutscenes lately, but that's kind of what this is, game is a little in the beginning. It'll get better. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Find us on all your social media sites. Come say hi on Twitter. Uh, find us on Patreon. Become a supporter of the channel. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. See ya.